Hello, welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports and another edition of On the Road Repair. Uh, yesterday evening, Wednesday evening, I like to do what's called a Rev Nighter. And it's typically at about 5.30 and it's typically about 30 miles and typically about 33 to 3,500 feet, sometimes a little more. And it's a fast paced ride, just lots of hills, Lots of rolling terrain, up, down, up, down, up, down. And yesterday we were making a right turn to begin a, a short hill into a residential area. And uh, the gentleman's bike, uh, the gentleman's chain fell off. And when it fell off, what you'll see later in the video, it ended up kinking a couple of links. And what this video is going to show you is on the roadside repair. So the first thing I tried to do was dial in a derailleur while riding the bike. So we switched bikes so I could ride it and try to dial it in with the online cable adjuster. When that didn't work and I couldn't figure out why, then I pulled over, um, started working on the bike and trying to adjust the barrel adjuster at the rear derailleur, but it wasn't taking any input. I couldn't figure out. And then I realized, oh, the barrel adjuster has come undone from the rear derailleur. So I take the wheel out. I have to take the wheel out because I don't have a long um, handled type of Allen wrench in my road, road tool kit. So I take the wheel out, loosen up the cable, put on the barrel adjuster and then start to dial it in. And that's when I noticed that no matter how much I tried to dial it in, the um, there was at least one, if not two bent links and there was just nothing I could do. So we had to send the gentleman home about uh, eight miles into the ride, into a 30 mile ride. So that's the video you're going to watch. <laughs> I, I mean, my girlfriend was right on, right on it, Johnny on the spot, or Jane on the spot. Uh, as soon as she saw some issue, she pulled out her camera and start recording. So thank her so that we have this footage. Okay, let's roll the tape. And now you know what uh, what's going on, and it'll make a lot more sense to you. problem is the barrel adjuster has come undone. I mean, if you're filming, then this is what, see it? So it wasn't responding to my inputs because it wasn't even connected. So we have to thread in this guy first. And you have to be careful not to cross thread it if you're in a hurry. <laughs> then once that's crossed, once that's in, in the shop I wouldn't be taking the wheel off, but because of this tool I have, I don't have a long handle hex wrench so I have to have to take the wheel off because of the tool I have so this is not ideal
see how the distance it leaves. Nothing like the chain is not on the pole. How's it doing that? If you have a I have a bent link. So even though I'm trying to dial it in, look. Right there. One of these two links. See how it's getting stuck in the... So, probably when, you, when the chain dropped, you bent the link. because no matter how much I try to dial it in, every time that link comes around, it's... Oh, that's awesome. Thanks for volunteering. Thank you. Your husband's tools. All right, so now let's see if when that clean link comes back around. Yep. That's the clean link right there. I don't have a sharpie in the shop. I would, I would mark that with a shop a sharpie. But watch, that's the clean link compared to the others, right? And watch when it comes back around. Right, right there. Yeah, you're gonna need a new chain because that link is bent. That's why I kept trying to dial it in. It wouldn't dial in. See, because every time that that pulley was jumping, I kept thinking that the chain was falling off the pulley, but it's it's that the, the link is bent. <sighs> Always an adventure, isn't it? So <laughs> we gonna finish this ride or what? Uh, I don't know if we can finish the ride because if he puts torque on that and that chain either falls off or something I mean he could I don't know you could try to ride it but I mean the, the, the link is bent so I don't know